Hey everybody, Ember22 here. Today we have some pretty cool gameplay for you. This is a Battlefield Hardline, and it's actually the beta. It's actually the second beta. Uh, most of you guys probably already know that, especially if you like the Battlefield series. But anyways, uh, I, I do have, I've played only a couple of matches, and I will say that so far I can tell that it's a, a lot more polished. Um, it runs really smooth. It's actually pretty quick action, uh, but we'll get into that in a second. Um, but first, I wanted to show you guys like some of the menus and options and, and whatnot to give you some information on the game. So the options actually are set up uh, the same way that like Battlefield 4 is right now. You know, you have all your same um, different things you can change, and then also as well for your gameplay, you have like the network smoothing factor, and you also have the high frequency network update, which is something they added. Um, later last year for Battlefield 4 um, which made the connection a lot better to where you know you didn't have a lot of uh, lag between um, you and what was going on on the server and whatnot and um, you were able to you know stop dying in stupid ways um, you, you know that happened less often so anyways and then you also have the advanced options to change like all your icons and all that and all the visibility of your friends and enemies and all that stuff so that's pretty cool for the multiplayer, you have the quick match, which you have the quick match, and then you go into either Heist, Hotwire, or the Conquest Large, which are the current um, game modes for this game. Uh, there will be more game modes for the full game, but right now, that's what they're offering. And uh, each game mode is um, available for all nine of their maps. Server browser is just like in Battlefield 4, where it'll show you different options for all the servers. You can sort it and whatnot to find the game mode you want and like the total amount of players and different options like that but right now for the beta they ask to just do quick match to help uh, fill the servers up squad joins just like in battlefield 4 as well uh, even though battlefield 4 for some reason did not launch with a squad uh, feature um, this game will launch with it which is awesome so all you do is you know you go into squad uh, squad join and you're able to join up with your friends before the match and um, prepare just like always. Now customize. What this allows you to do is change your loadout. And the way the way it will work in this game is that you're able to um, gain levels and earn server stars and stuff, which gets you more money. Uh, anytime you do anything, you get more cash. So as you can see at the bottom right, there's $15,460 to spend. And so basically, for my first loadout, you choose either Operator, which is like a, your assault person or your medic. Uh, mechanic, which is just like your guy that you want to blow stuff up, uh, but you also have your submachine guns. Your Enforcer, which lays on ammo and has stuff like the shotgun and the more heavy stuff like that. And the professional is a sniper, basically. Uh, but you also have like laser trip mines and other little gadgets like that. And the mechanic in this game is what is who will allow you to spawn on each other. That is one uh, change that I've noticed so far is that the the mechanic has like the spawn beacon type thing. So, anyways, I won't go through um, all of the options, but we'll start with the operator. Uh, so you'll select that, and then for your primary weapon, as you can see on the left side. You choose it, and then um, here's the first, the RO-933 is what you start out with. Um, that's the only gun for this class that you have um, available to start with. And you also have these attachments to start with as well. And as you can see by the little orange and um, like the blinking, um, the orange triangles in the bottom right corners of the boxes, that is telling you that there's a new option for you to unlock or that you can buy. So basically, like if I select my gun, you can see that it'll cost me $21,000 to buy this gun, $37,000 for this gun, and so so on and so on. Um, there is, if you see at the top left, it says cycle style. And right now, there's you basically are going to either be the SWAT or the undercovers, which are the cops. And they both have the same shared guns. And then the thieves and the... Uh, bangers have the same set of guns which everybody starts with the same gun but then you also have the AKS 74U the G36C and the AKM 
for another shot rifle. So basically, you'll start as either a cop or a robber, and you'll have that set of guns uh, available. I don't know if once you get to a certain level of all, if you can pick from any um, any side, but it does make sense that the cops would have certain weapons and that the criminals would have uh, a different set of weapons as well. So that makes sense. But anyway, so we'll just start with the first gun, and then you can choose your attachments. And you also um, you don't really have to unlock anything. You just have to have enough money to buy it. So if I just wanted, you know, the the, halo, the, the holographic sight. For this gun, I just pay three thousand dollars for it, and that's that. You don't have to like get a certain level or anything like that. Same thing with the accessories. Um, these, as you can see on the left, you do have to get. Um, it's kind of like the left middle. It says unlock criteria. When I get once I get to fifty kills with this weapon, then I'm able to unlock all of these things. But then I still have to buy them. Same thing for. Same thing for the muzzle. I have to get to 70 kills. The grip, I have to get to 90 kills. And then the camo. Uh, right now you just have to um, have the correct amount of money. Or for the special ones, they're mostly battle pack items. And that basically is, is, is it for... Uh, it's the same for everything else. And you have your different guns. Uh, here's the, um, the taser. That'll knock people down so you can either kill them or then you can arrest them and get some information out of them. Um, you also have your gadgets like your first aid and you can revive a friend or a grappling hook or stunt drivers basically you can use your nitrous to get away really quick and you also take less damage from running into stuff. And you can set a second a, a second gadget for each class. Then you have your grenades, you either have your frag, Molotov cocktails, uh, gas grenades, flashbangs, smoke, so there's a lot more options than in Battlefield 4. And then your melee weapon, they all basically work the same. But just like in Battlefield uh, Battlefield 4, it's just your different preference and looks. But in this, instead of them all just being different variations of knives, which as you can see, there are a lot of knives in here. Um, you also have stuff like a baseball bat and crowbars and stuff like that. Like this gold lead pipe looks pretty sweet. Definitely do some damage. And it's the same way, like if you sneak up behind somebody um, from behind or the kind of like the, the side and the back, you can, it's a one hit kill for the melee. And then you can also change your, um, the look of your, uh, uh, your outfit. I don't have anything unlocked yet. You have to get to a certain amount of points. I only have 7,000 points and it takes 275,000 to unlock them. Same thing for the reputation. Um, once you get to um, certain um, certain levels, then you're able to unlock all that stuff. So, anyways, uh, let's go uh, back here, and then my agent. You just, you can check your progression, your assignments, your coins and bounties, and patches. Basically, patches are just like dog tags, coins and bounties. <coughs> uh, you get a certain amount of points for. Um, doing certain things throughout the match and then assignments basically the same thing once you hit like a set goal then you unlock it so like reach uh reach rank 25 um, i'm not there yet i've only played a couple matches and then let's see so in, in order to unlock um special abilities you have to get a certain amount of points i'm almost to the first uh, tier for the operator so that's what i've mainly used so so far so good on that. But once I get a couple couple thousand more, then I'll be um, I'll have the tier one unlocked, and then let's see, I'll unlock the ability to earn the first level of operating reputation track. So pretty cool. And then battle packs are the same thing. Once you hit certain levels, as you can see at the bottom, you unlock battle packs, and then you open them. Let's see, let's open this one. So you got team uh, team play 100% boost, same thing. Objective boost, objective boost, uh, boost. So it's basically just boosting your scores and all that stuff. Okay, let's see what I got in this pack. Oh, cool! I got different camos and an advanced camo. Pretty sweet. 
And you can also, like with your cash, not uh, with your in-game cash, you can also buy battle packs. But it's just best just to play and unlock them that way. You know, that way uh, you're able to use your money for weapons and all that. But if you've already unlocked all your weapons, then you might as well just go ahead and uh, spend them. Oh, and you can also go to something that you've unlocked and sell it for the right side. You can sell it for more money, which is pretty cool. Because if I'm like, oh, I'm never going to use this, then I can at least get a little bit more money towards stuff that I'm going to use. You can't do that with camos, though. So, I hope you guys uh, like this video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Leave comments um, with any questions you may have. I uh, will be posting some gameplay uh, videos of actual gameplay of the different of all the different matches. So, uh, subscribe if you want to see more for Battlefield Hardline and any of our other videos. We're also doing Life is Strange and um, Dying Light this week. And uh, I, I'm glad I'm glad you were able to join us. And we hope that you're able to play Battlefield Hardline 2. And if you are, then definitely uh, add us and we'll, we'll be able to play with you. And that'll be pretty sweet. And we hope you have a great day. And